hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new and stopping by for the first time welcome i would love it if you become part of this crafty family by clicking the red subscribe button and then tapping the bell and all to be notified every single time i upload especially if you love all things dollar tree and all things crafting on a budget i would love it if you would please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because those thumbs up really help my channel to grow. And with all that being said, let's jump into today's DIY. Okay, so to start off, I just have this square picture from Dollar Tree I had left over from fall and I just removed the raffia bow and sand all the glitter off. Now I tried to paint over this and you could still see the wording so I literally just peeled the top layer off and I gave it a good coat of ink Waverly chalk paint all the way around. So while that's drying, I'm gonna work on the next one. So I got this one from Dollar Tree as well. I took the stickers off. They were giving me a hard time, so I just took out my blow dryer and it really helped me out and then sanded the rest of the glue off. I then took off this little piece in the front. Now, although we're not gonna be working on the front, if you wanted to hang this on the wall, that piece would make it like sit away from the wall. So I just wanted to remove it just in case I end up hanging it. I also give this a really nice coat of Waverly ink chalk paint as well and while this one's drying I'm going to paint my other one. Now I do this a lot just because it's more efficient and while one thing's drying you can work on another. So for this one um, I used these back when I did fall signs but I had a few left over and I wanted to utilize them so I just take some white Waverly chalk paint and I give it a really nice coat and if you guys have been around for a while you know um, that I like to do this technique because it just gives it a really cool effect so I'm gonna just dip into my crimson Waverly chalk paint just the tip like a very very little bit I'll show you right here and I get a bit on the tip I dab off the excess and then I just lightly go over my strokes that I just made and it gives this really cool effect without it all blending in one color it just gives it these really cool streaks and I've said this previous uh, previously but um, I came up with this by accident one time. I'm a lazy painter. I dip right in and sometimes I don't feel like rinsing the brush out. So if it's a color that will go together, I just dip right into another color. So that's where I got this idea and I love it. Next, while that's drying, I'm going to go back to the first square picture. So I had this piece of scrapbook paper from Joann's and it's double sided, but I wanted to use the front side. So I just traced it and cut it out. That way it would cover the front of my picture. So once I cut it out, I just lay it on top to make sure that it's going to fit. And then I take my disappearing purple school glue it's a glue stick and I just give it a really good coat um, this is really good especially um, if you don't want a bunch of wrinkles in your paper school glue glue sticks are definitely the way to go so after I put my glue on my scrapbook paper I just smooth it down to make sure there's no wrinkles or bubbles underneath so after I have that glued down, I have this free printable. It'll be linked down below. And I just take my graphite paper and I'm just playing around with it to see where I want it. And I had this piece of graphite paper um, right next to me. So I was trying to fit it all on this one piece. So I just flipped it around and did it long ways and it did end up fitting. So I just went ahead and traced that onto this picture. 
So after I got it traced, I take my fine point black paint pen and I just go over it with my paint pen and I really like using a paint pen. You can use a Sharpie, but I find that sometimes it looks more gray than it does black. I don't know if it's just me or what. You can let me know in the comments down below if you can see what I'm talking about when you use a Sharpie. So when I use my paint pen, it comes out really dark and looks really good. So there were these little dots. Excuse my hair. I'm sorry, you guys. But there were dots, and I just did them red to look like berries. I then had these wooden stickers from Bullseye's Playground, and I wanted to utilize them. So I just took out Merry Christmas, and I put it on the bottom of my sign. And these are really cool because they're already come glued. You just have to peel the backing off and set them wherever you like so I thought that that was really cool and convenient that way you don't have to try to get in between the little lettering and glue it and then you would have you know glue coming through and so I did like that feature and this pack was three dollars each pack that I'm using was three dollars but you get a bunch in each pack next Again, if you've been around, you know that I love to dry brush around the edges. I think that it just finishes any piece and brings everything together to make it look more finished and store bought. So I just take this, um, it's like a harder bristle brush, and I just go around the edges and that finishes that sign. Next, we're going to work on this little sign with the little hook. And while I had my black paint out on my bristle brush, I just go ahead and just, uh, dry brush the edges of this one as well. I usually um, want to do it before I put anything on my signs, and I always forget until afterwards. But I had this other free printable, and I um, traced it on there. This one will be linked in the description box below. And just like the last one, I use my fine point black paint pen and I outline what I just traced. So all three of these free printables are in the same link. So if you're wondering where all the different ones are, um, I got all three, all three free printables from the same link. So next, there was these little holly berries um, and leaves on this one. So I just take my green and my red paint pens and I just outline those as well. So this green paint pen is pretty light and I wanted my holly leaves to have a bit of dimension. So I just have this fine point um, black pen. My paint pen is a little bit too thick for this much detail but I just give those a few little like the veins in the middle of a leaf just to make them look more realistic and again some dimension. So after I did that I outlined just around the edges just to make this sign pop more and then I outlined that again with my black paint pen. So I had these little Christmas trees from Bullseye's Playground. Again, they're stickers. I painted them green and I just stuck them on each side. After that, I glued my bow down and I put my hook back in the bottom. And that one's finished and I am so in love with this one. I can't figure out which one is my favorite, but this one's definitely on my top list. So next, I take this other free printable on our last sign, and I really liked how these had like little hanging ornaments, but um, you couldn't see the graphite paper on this black paint. So I just went ahead with my pencil because you can see it with pencil. And I wanted to make the lines a bit longer anyway, so it wasn't any big deal. I just lined it up to the top. I made marks where they were so that they were evenly spaced. And then I just took my ruler and drew lines 
with the two ends being longer and then the two middle ones a bit shorter and then the one in the middle pretty short but you can see what I'm doing here and I can leave um, in the description box how many inches each line was so I then just make them a little longer and I didn't really like the font on this free printable so I went to my computer I printed out a font that I liked the top that says tis was a stencil and then I put the season and then traced on um, from a stencil to be and then print it out jolly and I can leave the font and font size down in the description box as well so once I had all that traced on I went in with my white paint pen and I just outlined everything after I outlined everything again I had wooden stickers the snowflakes are from Dollar Tree and I wanted to paint these red but I didn't want them to be completely red I wanted the natural wood to show through because I thought that it gave it a really cool effect and made them look kind of rustic and old so it's your preference um, you can change these up and put whatever you really like on here but um, I just like the way that the snowflakes and the little ornaments look together. The ornaments I got in the pack from the ones from Bullseye's Playground. And again, the ones, um, the snowflake ones are from Dollar Tree. So once I had those all painted, I just went ahead and glued them all down. Next, I just dry brushed some white on the edges of this using the same brush that I did with the black because the black had dried up anyway and it wouldn't have mixed together or anything. I only use very, very little anyway, so it's no big deal. I then made five teeny tiny twine bows and I glued them to the ends of my hanging ornaments and that quick and easy you guys I made these really really cool signs that didn't take me very long at all on a very small budget and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I enjoyed making them and showing them to you I will definitely be putting these up for the holiday season you guys I want to decorate so bad but I'm just so busy I can't even see straight it's crunch time at school so I have a lot of things due in a very small amount of time but I'll definitely get to it soon also leave in the comments down below which one was your favorite I can't pick I love them all but I definitely will catch you guys in the next one and I'll talk to you soon bye mm -hmm.